YouTube family. Welcome back to our channel. I'm your instructor. My name is Rashid and in our last episode, we have created a sales analysis by using Pandas, NumPy and Matplotlib. Today, we are taking it a step further. We will be predicting sales using machine learning, especially the linear regression method. If you are excited about making predictions for your business or project, stick around because we are about to dive into the code. So these are the things you need to follow. The first of all, you need to install the Anaconda by using this link. I have pasted this link in the description. You can get this link. Then you need to watch the videos in HD so you can see easily and you can also enable the subtitles as per your local language So first of all, I'm going to insert the necessary libraries that will help me to use the machine learning concept of train test split and the linear regression. Here I'm going to insert my libraries and I will be pressing shift enter. So now the game is on. Now I can use that train test split and linear regression from that libraries. So the first thing I'm going to do here that is to create a data frame. So I need my monthly sales in a tabular form. So I'm going going to copy the code from here if I will print this monthly sale you can see these are my monthly sales here I will replace it with year and month basically I need year and month in my rows in my index so now this is my data now I'm going to convert my this data into training set and testing set in training data I will be using a function model.fit this function will train my model and the testing data I will be using in prediction so now I'm going to convert my data data into train data and test data and be remember train data I will be using for training the data in model.fit and the testing data I will be using for prediction in model.predict so now here I will be typing my train data test data train test split and here it required the data set and my data set is monthly sales test size will be 20% shuffle will be false basically I'm going to convert my this monthly sales Basically, I'm going to convert my this monthly sales into two data sets, train data and test data. I will be using train data for my training of the model. I will be using test data to predict my sales. So here, this is train test split. This is a function of machine learning that is used to split the data into training data and testing data. So basically, train test split is a function of machine learning that will split your data into this training and test so next parameter is test size 20% that means the 20% of the data will be used for testing data set and the remaining 80% will be for training the data so basically training data will be 80% and testing data will be this test size of 20% shuffle false means this specifies the data should not be in randomly shuffled before splitting this is useful when you are dealing with time series data where the order of the observation matters what it will do when you will split the data it will give the old data in the training set and from the last 20% data will be in test data so I hope you got that you need to know about this line of code now I'm going to remove this one and from here if I will print this training data you will observe it will give you the 80% records from the beginning to end and if you will print this test data so now you can observe in test data it is giving you the 20% records from the ending position this is giving you from the ending position and this is giving you from the first because here you set shuffle to false it is not picking the data randomly so now I'm going to train my model x train is equal to in x train I will be storing my independent variable so my independent variable as per my this data is year and month these both are my independent variables so the name of the data set is train data and in train data year and month this is my independent and y train is my dependent or target variable so similarly the data set is same so I'm typing train data and in train data I'm having my these total sales I'm copying this pasting it here 
सो दिस इज माई डिपेंडेंट और यू कैन से दिस इज माई टारगेट सो बेसिकली आई विल बी यूजिंग दिस डेटा टू ट्रेन माई मॉडल सो हाउ I will initialize my model. I will be typing model is equal to and the model that I'm going to use for that project that is the linear regression. And at the beginning of this project, that we will be using the function of machine learning called model dot fit to train our model. So here I will be using that function model dot fit and I will be using my x train y train to train my model. So now I'm pressing Shift Enter from my keyboard. So now I'm going to checking the score of that model. So I'm typing train score is equal to model dot score into this x train and y train. And here I will be printing my this score. So this is giving forty six percent. The score of the model must be between zero to one. This is point forty six. Or you can say that is forty six percent. And if the score is more than seventy percent, eighty percent. Or 90% that model will be more good. So, or in this case, we are having the score around 46%. Means this is a average model. So now I have to make predictions from the model. So for this, I will be copying this one, pasting it here. This is my x test and this is my y test, and I will replace this train data with my this test data. And at the beginning of this project, I told you that we will be using the function of model dot predict for predictions. So here I will be typing my y prediction is equal to model dot predict. I will be typing my x test because in x test I'm having the number of the month and the years. If I will print years and month, so I have to predict sales for my these years and months. So that's why I will be. Pasting my this x test here. So now if I will be pressing Shift Enter from my keyboard, and here I will be printing my these predictions. So now this is showing me my these sales. This sales is for my this this month. This sales is for this month. This sales is for this month. And if I will print here my actual sales, so my actual sales are this y test. So if I will print my these actual sales. So my predictive sale is this one three zero two nine, and my actual sale is this one. So our sale team performs poor because the prediction of that data is saying the sales should be around three zero two nine, and the sales and the actual sales are around double two double eight. Finally, let's visualize the results. We are creating a bar plot to compare the actual sales values with our model predictions. So first of all, here I will be typing plt. Dot figure fig size sixteen to six. At the end, I will be typing plt dot show plt dot bar, and it required two parameter: the x axis values and y axis values. So in my x axis values, I have to show the number of months. So so now I'm here typing x is equal to, and here I have to store the number of months. So my number of months are in this x test contains the number of months. So here I will be typing. This one and in this, so these are my number of months. So this X is completed, and on Y I have to show my exact sales, my actual sales. So my actual sales are stored in this Y test. In this Y test, my actual sales are stored. So here I will be typing Y test instead of Y. So here I will be typing my label is equal to. This is my actual sales. Now, if I will press Shift Enter, so this is showing my these actual sales by months. Now I have to show my prediction sales here. So I will be typing plt dot bar into x will be same because I have to show my months. So x will be same, and on y I will be placing. Y prediction because this Y prediction contains the predictive values. So I will be typing this Y pre here. So in my label, I will be typing predictive sales. So now if I will be pressing Shift Enter, so this is looking like this. So now what I have to do, I have to separate these bars. So for this, I will be typing here bar. 0.35 and in my actual sales bar here i will be typing width is equal to 
against this equal to this variable and similarly i will be pasting this one here so now if i will be pressing shift enter so now this is looking like this now the last thing you have to do you have to add that bar width here as well so now again if you will press shift enter now this will be looking like this so now at the end i will be typing plt dot legend if i will press shift enter now this is showing this blue color is for sales and this color is for predictive sales so as you can see the actual sales are less than the predictive sales so that's mean there might be some issues that we were not able to achieve that predictive sales so whenever we will be planning for the next year we will be watching this very clearly that we have to achieve these predictive numbers so now i will be typing plt dot x label into month and plt dot y label into total sales and plt dot title linear regression actual versus predictive sales now if i will press shift enter now you can see i have the title here these are my months and these are my sales and finally you have it from setting up our data to training the model and visualizing the results 